I'm Mark Pawlowski. I'm the editorial director for PMN and the founder of MEX, the PMN Mobile User Experience Conference. Here with me today is Scott Jensen, who heads the mobile UI team for Google uh, and will be one of our speakers at the MEX 2008 conference here in London later this year. Uh, Scott, you've had a, a long history in mobile, dating right back to the days of the Apple Newton. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what brought you to Google. I started at Newton for several years and was actually working on a few mobile projects before it got cancelled. And then eventually ended up moving to London to work at Symbian for several years, went on to Cognima and was an independent consultant working primarily on mobile phone projects until about three years ago when I joined Google. So what are you seeing at the moment at Google in terms of the trends between mobile search versus desktop search? Well, I'll focus my comments primarily on the user experience and not necessarily on strategic directions, but the one big issue with mobile right now is trying to be able to bring as much of the web with you. And we find that um, a lot of folks um, are quite happy when we can kind of answer the question right there on the, the result page. So you type like some celebrity and their birthday and the result comes right there on the web page. Um, there's a very big division that happens in terms of user experience when you then leave the search page and then actually go browsing on the web because that becomes a significantly more challenging activity and it doesn't quite translate as well. Of course, at that point, it's very dependent upon the device itself. One of the challenges which we identified in this year's MEX Manifesto uh, is this idea that there's a lot of variety in mobile search. It could be things as diverse as people sitting around a dinner table trying to find an answer to a pub quiz type of a question. Uh, right. through to someone who's on the move and just wants to be able to find a, a quick train timetable. Do you think there are uh, any particular UI solutions which are, are suited to all of those kind of applications, or is there going to be a variety of different options that the people are going to use to search from their mobile device? Oh, I think the market's filled with many people trying different things right now. Um, uh, the, 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 the main solution that uh, I've been working on right now is, in fact, the mobile web portal. Uh, bringing google.com to your mobile phone and in general the pub quiz type solution can be handled quite easily by a lot of the snippets that occur in the results themselves and uh, when you then cross over to then you find the London train website then you're a little bit more kind of at the mercy of that particular website and how well it's designed for mobile in order for you then to go there and answer that particular question um, but that's just one realm which is to handle it through the classic web to your phone I mean there are many things that are being considered uh, like widget type solutions and uh, things we're exploring to reduce the latency so that you can kind of get your answers as quickly as possible and so there's other solutions along those lines so I think we'll, we'll see over the next year or two many people trying different types of cuts at this problem um, to, to get the various ranges of solutions to people. That's an interesting point you make about the latency uh, and I guess it talks a little bit to the idea that user experience isn't always just about the user interface. Uh, it can be to do with the delay in the networks, it can be to do with things like um, the data plans as well. Do you see that at the moment there are some other uh, restrictions out there which are preventing people from doing as much mobile search as perhaps they'd like in terms of the overall user experience of mobile devices? Oh, well, all you have to do is um, you know, ask someone a question on a desktop and ask someone a question on mobile, and you'll just see how broad that difference is. So normally people can go straight to their browser, they even have a specific little field right in their browser to type in whatever search engine they wish to use, and it goes zip, and it's gone. And you can usually get your answers within seconds. Um, and Google really prides itself on making speed and latency one of its critical core components of any type of search, whether it's web or mobile. Um, and in general, uh, the mobile experience tends to throw quite a few large rocks in your path that kind of slow that down, whether it takes eight seconds to make your GPRS connection, whether you have a, a slower T9 input method, whether the browser takes five or six seconds to launch. Um, all of these kind of nibble away at the problems so that when they, you add them all up, the mobile experience can really be significantly slower. So I feel like there's um, uh, a lot many, many simple ways in which the mobile experience can be significantly improved. Okay. Thanks very much indeed, Scott. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Uh, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for at the moment, um, but I'm very much looking forward to continuing the discussion at the next conference later this year, um, and look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.